everybody, Timbo here with another make video and I uh, just wanted to show you a project that I uh, have been working on. Uh, what I want to do is uh, start recording um, while I'm making things and uh, I don't know, I think that'll be interesting for people to watch. And uh, I have this old phone and I'm not using it and I found out you can use uh, phones, uh, an old Android phone is a, a webcam uh, with an app called, uh, what is it called, Droidcam? Droidcam, yes. And uh, nobody watched my code here. Um, what it does is uh, allows you to uh, use, well, as I said, use your phone as a webcam. Um, and then I'll uh, record and uh, edit videos on my computer. Um, so, but uh, what this is, is I, I did designed in CAD a, uh, I guess a mount to basically clip it to the top of my desk, the shelf uh, above my desk here. And uh, Everything seems to be all right, except for while I was cleaning it up, these um, flexible teeth, I guess I want to call them, uh, when they fit inside this uh, other clip here, uh, they broke off. So I'm going to have to print another one of those. Uh, let me get all this junk out of the way. And... Uh, once I, I get that printed, I, I can put this together and uh, show you what that's like. So uh, we'll see you on the flip side. All right, and we're back, everybody. Uh, so I uh, got these pieces printed. I uh, actually uh, went back into my CAD program and uh, beefed up these, uh, I don't know what you call these, spring t teeth. Uh, whatever um, <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, I also noticed that uh, the inside of the other ones didn't print very well uh, because I forgot to add supports to them so uh, this one I cut apart so it would fit but uh, this one uh, yeah it got all messed up and uh, wouldn't fit on the, the shaft here and uh, this one I printed with supports on and uh, I went ahead and removed those. So uh, this should all fit together basically by uh, friction fit. Uh, I really need this camera set up as you can see because I don't have three hands. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to get this all assembled and then uh, we'll uh, roll the camera again and uh, see what it looks like. And we're back. Uh, so we got it all put together. All the, the pieces uh, fit perfectly. Uh, did some pretty good measuring there uh, in my CAD program. Um, they're all friction fit, so they just get pushed where they need to be and uh, don't fall out. Um, no glue is required. Uh, the hinge works really good. Um, all the, the pieces pretty much uh, fit where they need to go and uh, like as I said uh, don't need any glue um, the uh, the shelf clips I uh, measured out pretty good so and those uh, those fit um, the only thing that I did not account for is on the phone there's the the power and volume buttons and uh, when putting it in there in the clips like that um, they might get pressed so we'll see what happens um, if uh, if so we can maybe just uh, file this back or heat it up and, and bend it and it should be all right uh, pretty much the way I want it is at an angle so uh, gravity tends to hit these uh, clips instead of the top ones um, anyway, uh, let's see how this works. So we'll get this on my shelf. Whoops. 
and we will angle this where I need it. Uh, I'll turn the phone on. Uh, nobody look at my code. Okay. And uh, voila, I already have the camera going, so check that out. <laughs> that is awesome. That is exactly what I wanted. Uh, yeah. Very pleased with this. Uh, so uh, next videos uh, you see are going to be me uh, assembling stuff. Um, yeah, really cool. I like it. So, uh, if you like these videos, uh, let me know, uh, make, make a comment, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll keep making them as long as, uh, people keep watching them. So, uh, we'll catch you on the flip side.